So the box was arrived here on site um, like almost a year ago and uh, was sort of stood here with nothing going on, so it seemed, but it was, um, we were planning, we were planning about how to, how to make that first cut. Where do you make the first cut? Why do you make the first cut there? And then what emerged out of this journey, this adventure, was um, something called uh, box shops. Box shops are simply workshops on the box that combined a Mennonite barn raising with almost a, a high school shop class. The container home is powered by a solar panel. It allows it to be off the grid. It has two batteries. It has extra plugs to plug in more batteries or more panels. And then there's one more feature to the right of it. It's called an inverter. And that just takes all the goodness um, from the sun and turns it into uh, a socket so we can put, we can plug things in. To heat the container house in the winter, you are putting small pieces of wood into what we call a rocket mass heater. Um, it's a heating system that's been around for thousands of years. Um, they used to heat um, the temples and um, palaces in China. Essentially, it's a hot fire. You burn for two hours. The heat transfers into the thermal mass. And 20 hours later, after the fire, it's still warm to touch. So it sort of emanates a very therapeutic heat. This container house um, comes with a, uh, a composting toilet, but not but a, a really wonderful version of a composting toilet. It's a urine diversion composting toilet, which in that reduces your smell by 20%. Um, also, it's vented, so it vents to the outside. The passive solar design of this home is very key. Passive solar implies that you're oriented towards the sun, that you have shade um, for the summer sun, but the shade is not so extended that it cuts off the sun from the winter sun. So it's actually warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. It's ample space. This is much more space than the vast majority of humans on Earth have used per person um, for their living habitation. So. Not only do you have the decadence of 160 square feet down here, you actually, we have a second story. And the second story, um, it's, uh, that's where it has a curved roof, and then there's also an outdoor patio that you can access through the upstairs door. It's fun to design something to the utmost that you possibly can. So it it's, it's, has its own um, you know, constraints and challenges, but we designed the walls, for example, so that they could pop off. You can pop off the external walls and put them inside to ship and move the container, or put them on a trailer and they move on a trailer. We've installed this fantastic sliding glass door, not of any kind, but we wanted, really wanted to get a, one that, um, that has no partition in the middle. So it's, it's a wider open space. It dissolves the barrier between indoors and outdoors, because truly, it feels really exciting to have your living room um, be kilometers big. When you look out into your vista and that becomes your living room, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very nice experience. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? We're doing an interview with the Wealth Mercury. For what? Sorry? For what? For this thing, with this thing, what is it? It's a, it's a container house that's been transformed uh, into um, a house that can be moved, transported, um, off the grid, um, one that will be very comfortable to live in. Okay, so our class going on this little field trip, um, we're actually redesigning the area around um, the Speed River and Aramosa Conjunction um, here. Yeah. So we just started the boathouse and we're walking along this trail system and then um, we walked by this scene, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's very intriguing just at first sight, just like you see this thing that obviously is at a place but you can't really put your finger on why. I think it's pretty genius. Um, I've heard of things like earth ships and stuff like that that kind of go along those lines of using less to, to live and I think this is just perfect. Like a, It's such a small space which is I think what we need more of, more small spaces for ourselves and it's so efficient obviously and the function of it is just so crazy how you can fit so much into such a little area. Yeah, I could definitely see myself doing, if not this specifically, definitely touching on it during a uh, some kind of environmental, sustainable type of thesis. This journey I've realized it's not about the shipping container. It's about, it's about um, 
balance, simplicity, sure, but but moreover, you know, how you how we work with others to get things done. This box is is as complete as it can be here at this location. I'm uncertain whether I'll be the person to finish it. I'm also offering it for sale or for a unique partnership with an organization or a foundation or a person. Um, the major work is done. The major work is complete. It is habitable. It's got all the major design elements necessary. Now it's a thing. It's a product. It's, it's something that can be appreciated and something that can um, provide people with um, options in their life.